thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. I do Ipsy on Baking, I do some Fat Fit Fun, and I do a variety of other videos. So today we are going to be going over what I got in my January Ipsy bag. It's 2020 and it's a new year, so let's get started and see what I got in my bag. I have everything over here um, a little cheat sheet on some of the things that I got and then my add-on that I got uh, this time. I usually get a couple different add-ons with my bag. So I ended up paying, uh, I think $12 for my add-on and some of the other times I've paid like $3 an add-on depending on what the selection is. So today we are just gonna go over some of the stuff and then I will apply it to my face. That is why I have nothing on today. So here is the bag for January with marble effect on both sides and then just the light pink um, zipper and little gem on the end here. So that's what I got this month. And then, uh, so let's see what I got in my bag. I know everybody gets something a little different depending on their profile. So when you guys sign up, go ahead and get the app and download your uh, profile in there and let them know what you all like. And then they can kind of like pack your bag the way um, is fitting for your face and the things that you need. Okay, so in my bag this month, I got the Avea Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream in Sea Kissed. And I'll give you guys a look at that. This is what that looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and just try that on. I also got uh, Celia, Celia, Celia seed to skin scrub natural grain polish so that's what that looks like okay so here's the morph full coverage concealer and then we got the London glow illuminating blush in pinch me and then I also got this lip gloss by Jules Smith Beauty Powder or Power Gloss in Moonbeam Dream. Okay, I'll give you a grand total of what everything would be at the end of the video. And then um, I only paid $12 a month for my bag. So I would pay $12 for my bag with all my samples. And then my add-on is the Thrive um, Extra Long or Extension mascara so this is the full size i paid 12 dollars for this and when i wanted to purchase this last time it was up to like 30 dollars if i were to purchase it outright so with me being um part of ipsy i was able to purchase this for my add-on for 12 bucks so that is like all together a great deal in itself you also get your little handout thing that tells you everything that you got in your bag and then if you ever want to do like instagram posts and stuff like that you can post it on instagram and show everybody what you got in your bag i'll put a listing in the description of everything that i got in my bag and then you guys can go check that out. I think I also have a link in my description on how you guys can get your own bag too. It's just $12 a month. And then if you want the full size, I think it's like $24 or something like that a month. So go check that out and see if you guys want to get your bag. They're pretty fun. I have a whole collection of some of my Ipsy bags. I use a lot of them in my purse and different random things through the house that I use them for. So it's not just that you get a bag and you don't do anything. So you can use these bags for anything really. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna grab my little mirror here and I'm going to start applying everything to my face. I already went ahead and put my primer on I just use the elf primer luminous matte makeup primer so I have that on already I am going to be using under eye corrector by Mary Kay 
Um, where I work, my boss uh, sells Mary Kay. So I've been kind of getting some random stuff there. Also, I do have um, a mascara and stuff that I got from there too. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying my under eye concealer. If you hear the kids in the background, they're all just having lunch. Okay, so I have my concealer on and then a little bit of foundation. I usually just put my foundation in um, just certain areas that I have more issues with or like, um, I wanna say like bigger pore areas. So I just go ahead and put that all over. And it really applies best with um, when you put your primer on. So a little bit of contour. So I'm just gonna smooth this all in then. I'm just gonna continue to smooth that all in. Okay. So. I'm just gonna smooth that all in with my sponge here. All right, so that's all smooth in. So you can still kind of see my contour on there, but once I put my powder on, it's not gonna look, it's not gonna look like that. And now I'm going to put on my eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna put on my base color. And also I am using the e.l.f. Trio palette. I'm going to also apply um, some of that concealer that I got in my bag. I'm just gonna also put a little bit under my eyes and then some other areas that I want to cover up. When you put your information in for your profile, you just gotta kind of give them a good description of the colors that you're thinking that you want. Um, this concealer matches pretty good with um, how I wear my makeup. So yeah, that covers up pretty good. So you can always purchase this stuff, you know, at another time too. That's the good thing of having little the little trials. Okay, and then my e.l.f. liquid um, eyeshadow, I just put right on my lid and rub that in with my finger lightly. to take my blending brush and just blend that all in. I forgot to put my other color on. 
So I just take the light color and um, go over the gel shadow that I put on. And then I just blend in this all together. I do get some fallout with that palette. So I just kind of go back over with my, a little bit of powder and just brush it away. And then I'm going to take um, my brow pencil. This is Brow Definer Arch Arrival Sugar. So I've had this from one of my ipsy bags from before so i just keep using it it matches pretty good with my brows i don't go too dark i try to keep it as close to like my hair color as possible. I don't want it to be too out there with my brows. I want that to be more natural. I don't want my makeup to, you know, like enhance anything that I don't want enhanced. So we keep that a little on the mild side. I am using my e.l.f. eyeliner. I know, you guys will see. Elf, elf, elf. That's what I go to. I just like it. So I just put that all over. I'll bring you guys maybe a little closer. Is that, that That's much better. So I just put that all over my waterline. And then you guys can kind of see my brows too. Okay, so I am going to apply my NYX um, eyeliner um, for on top of my lids for my winged liner. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side quick. And just play around with it to get that to match. So that's just usually what I do. I, before I put on my mascara, I am going to try on the lip gloss. Mm, it is a little... It looks white in the packaging but when you put it on, it is purple. It has like a, you guys can probably see that, little purple look to it. it. Smells good too. All right, so I'm going to open up. The only thing I'm not gonna be trying is the um, skin scrub, so that I'll do another time. Try this out. Now, a lot of times with my mascara, I'll either try, like I have another one right over here, I have NYX, and um, I build up my mascara, so I would apply like a layer of another kind and just keep applying maybe like four or some layers of mascara to get what I want it to look like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. A few moments later. All right. So, have everything on that I want to. Oh, you know what? I know what I forgot to. What I got forgot to apply is my my bronzer. So, this one I got, it's Tarte and I got this I think in my last it's Ipsy bag. So I go right above that contour that I did before 
And you guys can see how that all blends in really nice. So at first that contour kind of just kind of stood out and with the bronzer mixed in with it, it's pretty good. I mainly put it where my hair parts over here. I don't always put it all over the place, but just in that area. You can bring it up a little bit more and you can put it along your jawline too if you would like. So that just adds a little bit more definition to your face when you add your bronzer to to that. So I got the Glow Glow to Illuminating Blush is what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of that to my, above my bronzer that I applied. So I'm just gonna add a little bit. You can go ahead and put a little bit on the bridge of your nose and then the tip of your nose and anywhere really that you want to highlight. So you can tell that it gives you a pretty, Pretty nice glow on um, my cheekbones. It looks pretty good. So that is that. Do that. Sorry, you guys. I keep, <laughs> I keep looking over there. I want to look at you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video today, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed the video today. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more of my Ipsy videos. And other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, that. Mm. Well, hopefully, I'm gonna. Bye, bye, bye.